it's Becca and welcome to a brand new homeschooling channel here at the Carriage House. I am a mom of four. I have a daughter at age 11 and three boys ages nine, three, and nine months. And I've been homeschooling since day one, so a little over six years. But this video is a big haul from Target. So lots of lots of fun things I wanted to show you. I love this time of year where it's back to school time and I know this year is a little a little bit more challenging than than prior years, but I still love this time of year and I really don't get out much. So when I did get out, it was early morning, I wore my, ma my mask, uh, it was really quiet and it was very peaceful. I was just really excited to stock up on lots of things and I did order quite a bit of school related materials online and and things like that but that's that would be for another video I'm going to be sharing with you lots of resources and curriculum ideas and recommendations and on all things like that so this video is just purely a haul so this year I did decide to, to stock up on a lot of painting supplies our brushes had just had gone bad we've had them for so long so I did stock up on those so we have um, just little just a variety of different different paint brushes some of them I got at the homeschooling section or I'm not homeschooling section uh, school the school back to school section but there's also another area in Target where it's you, you it doesn't matter what time of the year there's always paint supplies and markers and all kinds of stuff and I kind of like that area better because they have it's a little bit more pricey but you can find some really um, some different different types of things all and I'll show you so I think these were from that area there are paint brushes that have their um, they're just like a stencil brush set sort of thing so we got got lots of paint brushes so stock up on those so hopefully, yeah, this will definitely last for the whole school year. And oh, I've even got more paint brushes. <laughs> so, um, this one, yeah, this is a studio set. It contains all the, it contains a flat angle round liner brush, filbert brush, fan brush, and even comes with the tray. But with four kids, it's nice to have, um, to have, you know, to stock up on what we have. Like, oh yeah, it's Handmade Modern. That's that brand that I'm talking about. That's not in the back to school section. It's in the, that other section. But I love this. Uh, I love that brand because they tend to have just a little bit more different, different things with more style. So little um, brushes where you can do polka dots and things like that. I hope you guys are doing good, by the way, too. I know this year is really kind of really crazy. But I'm really looking forward to the home, this homeschool channel. Um, I feel like we've got lots to share. So, okay, pom poms. I'm stocked up on those. Stocking up. But actually, I didn't. Just one bag of these. And popsicle sticks or craft sticks, wood sticks. And then got these fuzzy sticks. So, just basic craft supplies where I can just. Um, just keep them in the schoolroom, and we just just kind of have them there. And this handmade modern, again, it's the um, the sequins for crafts. And we got these little wood clips. I think these were in the uh, dollar spot. I'm just going to say the dollar spot because I'm used to <laughs> I'm used to saying that instead of the bullseye playground. So those were new. I didn't notice these last year. Okay, and then bookmarks for the kids. Dive deep for the treasure you seek. That, lots of cute things. And some stickers. And this one's that great, great job, you rock, way to go. Just to, to have for engraving. And then I did get these paint palette sets as well. We were really needing new ones. The other ones we had were, I think, maybe as long, oh, as long as I've been homeschooling, so we've, that we needed more. And then I got, saw this easel, wood easel in that, that same little department area. And then I got a lot of these bins, and I'll show y'all last, but I plan to use more of these in our, in our homeschool room as opposed to using all the plastic bins that I have. I would love to eventually have everything, you know, kind of matched up, and but, you know, it's 
we're on a budget like most people, like a lot of people, and kind of using what I have in my homeschool room. And I will be doing a tour to them, so. And you can see where all this stuff is set, so. Okay, I like these. Now these are new, at least to me. I ne I've never seen these before, but they're punch cards. But I love this concept. It's, it's great for, you know, incentives. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, though. I think maybe when, when a child kind of goes above and beyond or does something exceptionally well or goes out of their way to help uh, without wanting anything in return or just, you know, just little things like that, random acts of kindness or, or just, you know, doing a little bit more than they normally do, then they would get a, a little punch on their card and then they would turn it in and then I'm not sure exactly what we will do, but we'll definitely, um, we'll definitely reward them for that. So something new that I, I've never seen in the, at the, the Target area. So, okay, and I got a four pack of little mini canvases. So that kind of goes with the paint theme. So I'm gonna put all this paint stuff back. Oh, of course, paint. Okay. So for the school room, just a little decoration. There's this photo banner, which I thought was really cute. Um, this is only $3, but you can insert photos or you could put uh, some kind of colorful card stock or I'm not sure exactly, but it's kind of a, like a blank canvas. We'll see, we'll see what we do with it. And then this is a canvas hanging bag. It says work hard and be nice. So cute stuff there. And then there's my book of stories. There's eight counts of these. So these are always nice to have on hand whether they're doing journaling or if you're doing a unit study and you want, you know, something that they can also draw pictures in. Because sometimes, sometimes those composition books, they just have the, the whether it's wide ruled or college ruled and you, you don't have a room, have room to do a little bit of art or drawing or form drawing or whatever, which I think is really, is really important to add to the, uh, the writing. So. Okay, another little bit of decoration or decor, this little clip display here. And these uh, little word strips. I think they're meant to write sight words or, but you can, you can really get creative. Sometimes I will use these to, um, to label baskets or bins or, or something like that to let the children know what is in that particular bin or, or something like that. So lots and lots of uses for, for all this stuff. Okay. And then we have a English calendar card set here. And then a more classroom decor. This is a learn, read, and explore. And I think there's three different signs. Here's our nothing is not showing you. So I have, uh, I think I have a place where I'm gonna put this, so. Okay, all right, so on to more of the preschool stuff. The Target dollar spot is a haven for that. My, my son just turned three um, back in December, so he's at that preschool age. So if you have you know, preschool age children, it is a remarkable place to go and stock up on on preschooling and a lot of it's good quality some of it's not all that great but some of it's pretty decent decent quality because I try not to buy just a bunch of cheap stuff and then have it be thrown away six months or a year later or even even sooner so but okay so cute little puzzles little chunky puzzles this was three dollars so I know it's starting to get more expensive there though I'm going to be dollar spot <laughs> I've seen things go up to seven dollars, and I think I might have seen like a ten dollar one in the bullseye playground or whatever. Okay, magnet number and punctuation. Now these were I noticed these were new as far as the um, the colors and the, the little polka dots on them. So instead of just the solid red, blue, you know, the primary colors, there's a little bit more of a style to them, a polka dot. So okay. And then, oh, now this I did get on Amazon, actually. This is um, color form. If you don't remember color forms, where you have the stickers and they stick, you can peel them off and then you can replace them again instead of just having stickers that 
you stick them on and then it's pretty much that's it. So I was looking, I wanted to look for color forms to see if they had any kind of updated updated children's books or stickers and they, they did and they do. So there's this one is um, Where Do I Live? Animals at Home and there's the color forms in there. I haven't opened them yet and they need to have a little build a scene here. But I'm really excited though because I love color forms. These are, these are so fun to play with kids and you can kind of create a little scene and even your own little story um, with it. So little, uh, looks like little habitats, I guess. You have the Arctic and the sea, forest, deserts. So excited about that. that this was from Amazon. <clears throat> And then, I think I have another, oh yeah, another, one more color forms. I didn't find, I couldn't find like a ton of the color form stuff like this, but they do have, do have a pretty decent collection, but it's not like a huge, huge, huge collection. And this is Paw Patrol color forms, so restickable, restickable stuff. So that's good. We've got to keep the preschool are happy and, uh, and, and busy while I'm having to do um, the school with the older kids. So the more he's happy and content, then the other learning will go better. But And I will have some videos, um, some recommendations and things, the things that I have learned over the, the past few years, even with my older kids, some things that have worked and haven't worked. and. And all that so another video another video idea and then you can share too anything that you want to share on this channel to help others and myself out we can all share kind of collaborate and learn from each other you can leave comments and, and all that stuff okay I've always loved these little felt books so this is a newer one colors and shapes in the kitchen so all about kitchen stuff another little this is fraction uh, fraction fun so another little kind of a chunky board puzzle, three dollars. Most of this stuff was in that, that dollar spot. Let's make s'mores. So another little busy book. And I'm actually in the process of making my own little busy book, like a morning binder and um, just little learning binders with the where you have the um, little Velcro stickies that you use those, and then you can place numbers or days of the month. Or, or things like that. So I'm working on that. So, so we'll, we'll see. I'll let, you, I'll let you know how that turns out. And then we have this um, little behavior chart. So I don't, I'm not sure how I'm going to use this, but I saw it and it was only three dollars. It wasn't five. So and it seems kind of sturdy. And um, but there's lots of things we need to learn with my three-year-old. <laughs> Of course, if you have a toddler or have had a toddler, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we do, now I have these, more of these wooden bins. Now this, this bin right here, this square one, I got in that section where the Handmade Modern is from, it, it is in, now these ones though, I can't get my pops together. These ones were in the dollar section, but these were five each. But this one, the square one's a little bit more sturdy. And I think it was maybe seven dollars or ten, or I'm not sure. But these aren't too bad. They're, I mean, it's not, of course, it's not real wood. But uh, some more home, okay, some more preschool items here. We have blocks, ABC blocks, and at Target. Now, not in the dollar spot, but in their book section where a lot of the, the toys and things are. I got these right and uh, white counting boards or books from Scholastic, which I think these are going to really come in handy. They have the, the dry erase marker, and then I got a couple of these because at that age they're just wanting to, you know, draw on anything, and then you can save money by, you know, instead of using pencil and have, uh, okay, you can save a lot of the money because you can just erase when you're done with it and then you can start over again. So I got a couple of those, but I love, I love these. They're very colorful and it seems like it's, it's pretty good, pretty good quality as far as the content and everything. So there's that. And then another one. <laughs> went a little crazy, guys. I hadn't been out of the house. Well, I did have to go get my labs checked a couple times just with, with um, 
I have to keep watch over my glue posts and a couple of other things. But other than that, I have not been out of the house in probably like three months or so. I get out and I garden and I go for long walks because we live out in the country. But so I kind of I kind of went crazy a little bit. <laughs> so, my husband came back home and he's like, "Oh my goodness." So, okay, and this one is a, a so okay, this one another sorting and matching workbook, but it's not the dry erase. It's just the just a plain plain paper. So okay, and then for the preschooler, this is really cute, and this is new. So I mean, the concept is is not new but the um the car shop and the yeah hometown heroes i guess but it's like a little like a dollhouse that's made out of cardboard and it's got little cars and things just to kind of keep them busy on days where maybe i'm having a you know one of those days where he needs to to sit still and, and, and i don't want to put them always in front of a tv or nook or you know there are times for that, and I do have a schedule that I'll share whenever I hear pretty soon. Um, and, and like I said, I do, it, you know, our days are never perfect, but I have learned a lot of things over the past years that have helped and things that I've tried and done, and you know, some things didn't work and some things didn't. So I'm here to kind of give you guys, if you're new to homeschooling or even if you've been homeschooling for a long time, um, I'm hoping to share some things with you if you have toddlers at home to, to kind of keep them occupied. Okay, so I think that's most of the preschool stuff. There's the, oh, a mo the model magic, a little clay stuff. And then, let's see, I guess I'm getting close to the end. Okay, Okay. so normally we will go to a, um, it's a school, back to school bash. And we're not gonna be doing that this year. I think they still are having it, but we're really wanting to help this pandemic to end so we're big advocates for that and we just kind of just get out whenever whenever we need to so we didn't do the back to school bash which was really fun but so I had to make up for that so for my older kids my 11 year old and 9 year old I went and got just basic stuff that they need and we, we do have quite a bit of stuff still here from last year in our homeschool room that they can still use but I wanted to I wanted, I wanted this year to be good, and last year, I in October, I had our baby, had a baby. So the yeah, last year was kind of like, you know, with a new baby and everything, it was, you know, it was a little, it was a little trying at times, um, a little bit more laid back. So I want to make sure that this year is I'm I'm very prepared and organized as much as I can because planning and preparing and being organized is is key to long-term success and short-term success for my homeschool room. So also too stocked up on glue sticks and we have a clear glue here. We have a couple of other bottles. We don't use this glue quite as much as the glue sticks. Just because they, you know, everything. And then I got just some little notepads and basic, um, it's just removable mounting putty, little mini squares, little stickable things where if I need to hang up something on the wall. And I love these. Oh, oh, two. I've noticed this brand. I love this brand. It's called Yubi, but they've got all kinds of different colors, like really pretty warm tones, but not just like the primary red and blue and, and not too busy of, of um, pictures and, and Disney characters and all that's fine, but sometimes I, for me personally, I like to just kind of have more monotone colors in our homeschool. I like bright colors, but kind of, I don't know, it was refreshing to see some of these colors. Like that's kind of like a buttercup color. And then there is a, um, like a real pretty pastel pink color, which is normally something I don't, you don't see really in binders, or at least I don't, where I'm from. <laughs> we live out in the middle of nowhere, basically. Um, and a real pretty lavender, so there's those. And then we've got a blue one. I just kind of stocked up on some of these because, again, I'm gonna try to make those little busy books for my, my three-year-old. And then, of course, my older daughter and son will have their own binders for reference or, or for unit studies. And then I did get this one for my my three-year-old. I think it's meant for him. Although my 
my daughter saw it and I think she's wanting this one. <laughs> but it's got cute little animals and camels and and bananas, I believe. <laughs> okay. That. But I love these um, the little pencil pouches that you can put in the binder. And I found that to really be helpful because they have their binder and they kind of have everything in one and they don't have to go and look for their stuff. Although I do have a, a crate for them. They I each have a box or a crate that they keep all their stuff in. But some of the smaller things like pencils and um, erasers and all that stuff can get lost in that crate if they're not contained. So I really like to use these and then put them in the binder and you keep, you know, like pencils, pens, maybe a highlighter or, or two or something like that, maybe a post-it note so they can get used to, to writing down, you know, maybe things that they need to, you know, to do that, that day or for that, you know, that assignment or something like that. Okay, so I got a bunch of those, and then I did get one for me, too, so it's kind of a, like a canvas type of one, and then, oh yeah, got another one, too, that's, that's for my, my son is going to, my three-year-old is going to want everything that my other, my older son's going to want. Okay, okay, and then these rulers, I got these rulers, which I thought pretty cool looking, so those and then I saw these little flexi rulers with lots of little different colors that's always fun it makes math and all those kind of things a little bit more fun if you have you know some, some newer things and different different things especially for this year sometimes you know, I think kids are naturally a little bit more stressed right now and then oh yeah and here's some more dry erase little activity mats there's this one and then these ones mainly for my preschooler. But this one, this is this is kind of fun. It's uh it's the, the states, the state map. And on the back you can it's blank, so you, the child can put, you know, label the states or the capitals or rivers even. Um, so I like this. This is a good idea. And then they can always look on the back to see and you know, to check their work. Or something like that. So, actually, let me see. Hold on. I'm curious to see because it seems like it's. This is a dollar though, but let me see what's going on here. So, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. It's just a. Actually, this is really nice for a dollar. This is really thick because I thought at first it was. It was maybe double, it was overlapped or something like that. But this is really, I'm really impressed with the quality of this. So it's really thick and durable. So it's for a dollar. <laughs> okay, and then last two things were these little trays. Now these were not in the dollar section. These were in that handmade modern section. And I plan to use these for Montessori activities for my for my preschooler, and I plan to to put you know whatever whatever activity it may be. Last year I was planning on doing do what just a minute. Okay, just a minute. Okay, but I love. Okay. Okay. All right. Be quiet, please. I'm almost done. Okay. But I love, I love Montessori inspired activities, whether it be a little basket of white cloths and then the child can practice folding the cloth or I've done um, uh, things where you can do, ro have little rocks or pebbles and you would need a nap, a towel of some kind underneath, but you have a little brush, almost like a toothbrush and then the child can um, kind of clean the rock, so to speak, because rocks are naturally kind of matte in color. And then when you put water on them, they kind of shine up a little bit. So that's always fun. There's lots of, lots of Montessori activities to do. But I plan to use these for that. So we'll see. Like I said, I'm going to plan to do homeschool room tour, tour here soon. Okay, so also too, if you haven't checked out my other channel that I've had around for a couple years, I'll leave that information down below. It's the Carriage House. So this is Carriage House Homeschool. 
you know, there's the carriage house, but it's all about um, just enriching the hearth and home, making it, making your home cozy in every possible way. So there's a lot of home decorating, and actually I'm working on a, a fall decorating video right now. Um, lots of home tours and morning routines and fall evening routines and some cook with me's and you know some cleaning video just anything any kind of lifestyle type of topic it's, it's over on that channel so and videos will be posted weekly now I don't know the exact day I don't have a particular day where I'm gonna be um, uploading videos on a consistent basis but it will be they will be posted weekly so and the same for the other channel too so but but if you're interested in knowing when those videos are uploaded, then just click your notification bell and then you can subscribe as well if you haven't already. And it'll notify you once those videos uh, are posted. So, all right, you guys take care. Bye.